<laughs> what's going on there we go the first yo my mic was up front it was up top the second yo my mic was muted third yo we hit it though it's try hard thursday how you guys doing i'm gonna try hard i'm gonna start off with a very simple chronos game Join the order. tried and true loved the member of the channel good old chronos this guy's a little weird he banned zeus hell vulcan and aphrodite so i don't really know his game plan He's either a very great player who wants the OP stuff open or is a little bit eccentric. Eccentric. That is an amazing AMC skin. Holy shit. I've never seen that skin before. That skin looks amazing. We obviously go shell because he's going to ult me. I'm going to have to shell after the ult hits me and then ult myself so I don't die. Hopefully, I can shell alt fast enough to where the stinger doesn't actually fall out of me yet. And I can, like, alt from, like, here to here. And all of a sudden, he can't pick up a stinger. That would be ideal. But you never know. You never know. By the way, I am the number two Kronos in the world right now. The number one guy is, like, 55-0. and 0. I don't know how the hell that happens. But, you know, he is clearly better than me at every aspect of Smithe, so sometimes you just gotta accept it, you know what I mean? Perfect clear. His gold hasn't shot up yet, so he hasn't. Oh, he just finished a buff, okay. And because his gold is just as much as mine, it means he did not invade me. And I get my blue buff, perfect. Good start. I actually get both my buffs. I'm going to pop a health pot and try to group these bad boys up. Nice. I'm actually just going to try to clear this too because he's down a buff right now. Him being down a buff is massive for me. Because I hit level 5 off this wave and he doesn't. I guess it doesn't matter too much. We did hit level 5 off that wave. Oh, and then he ulted and completely missed. And then he pressed 3 without his hive down. So it didn't even do damage to me. I'm going to break this hive real quick. You know what? I'm going to break this hive too. Um, I guess he has a hive on the other side. Because I don't know how he still got the, the damage off on the three there. But yeah, he's got no ult. He's really not in a position to fight me, I don't think. And he's also not in a position to try to invade my my objectives. I mean, I guess he could, like, throw the two out and hope for the best. But in terms of, like, invading and actually, like, winning the fight, literally never going to happen. We both have blue buff, which means I think it's better for me because I have an alt. Obviously, he's going for red buff. Obviously, I would like it if that never happened. I'm going to use his three to help me clear here. And he shouldn't have any, uh, any way to get that buff because his alt is down. And I can just kind of body block his abilities. He already used his two. He's using his abilities on me. Well, not I, not I guess not all of them. Just his two. All right, I'm feeling really, really good. I got three buffs and two XP camps, and he got one buff and one XP camp. So I'm really far ahead right now. What's even better is that buffs are spawning again, which means even if he goes and gets his buff right now. He's going to be permanently down one buff this entire game, no matter what. Like, even if red buff didn't exist. Because he only got one buff in the beginning. That's why you never go one buff. Unless you know that you can get pressure off only doing one buff. Like, guaranteed pressure where you can steal XP camps and no shit like that. Then sure, whatever. Do one buff. But if you can't guarantee it, and I do mean guarantee it, then don't do it. Because you're just more than likely going to end up being pretty far down i have a full bancrofts and a tier one defense so i'm not really scared of fighting him he does have a full transcendence so he will hurt but 
I know, life's still kind of good, huh? Missed the two. I missed the one. So I guess we're even. What I'm really trying to do is just clear wave and keep pressure and get his XP camp. Which seems like that's exactly what happens here. I don't know if he did his speed. I feel like it's kind of a safe bet to assume he's... Oh, he's going to do his speed right now. Bro hates buffs. Like, actually. This is the first time he's killed a speed buff, and I've already done mine twice. I'm a full level ahead. XP camp just spawned. I would love to go grab that. Um, Gold-wise, I'm actually only up like 200. Let's stop his back. You think I'm scared of you? Okay. Well, there's his ultimate down. There's his ultimate down, and he's losing gold and XP because minions into tower. And I get the red buff and my XP camp, and I'm backing to finish my breastplate. Oh my gosh. Huge, huge play. Is it wise to deviate from the will Actually the massive. We'll see. My speed buff is still a little ways away from spawning. So I'm going to go clear away first and double back for it. I don't think my three clears backline yet. So that's unfortunate. It's always really nice when your three starts clearing backline because then you can use your one on the front line. So full clear with two abilities. But that normally only happens once your uh, once your three is maxed out, like level five. I actually fully expected an invade there. I'm surprised he didn't go for it. I guess his blue is spawning too, huh? So he probably just wants to confirm it. That makes sense. Hello. I got tier 2 defense. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. I'm really not scared of you at all. Okay, I missed my 3. Are you going to ult me? No. Um, we're just going to hit tower for a second here. Oh, good beats. Good beads. Had he not beads that I think he dies there, so well played. Gonna slowly drop this and then go for the XP camp. Did you go for this XP camp? I don't see him anywhere. Oh, he didn't. Alright, well... I don't know. My next items, obviously I want a Ring of Hecate because that's a 30% swing in a fight. Like 30% power swing. I gain 15 and I also take 15 of his, so. 30% swing, which is huge. And it's got lifesteal, which makes Typhons even better. He is going Toxic Blade, but I'm not really scared of the Toxic Blade. The anti-heal that, that gives me hello. Thanks for the red buff. I'll, I'll drop that. Why not? I will say, I think a beat stick would be a lot better than a toxic blade for him right now. To like actually keep up with the damage, the damage output he wants to have. Because yes, toxic blade is good, but it doesn't actually give you damage. It gives you 30% attack speed, but no actual damage on top of that, you know? Oh man, I'm, I'm going to greed one more wave here. Probably a stupid greed because my buffs are coming up and I might lose my XP camp, but... It's going to give me Ring of Hecate, which is good. I mean, it's just a solid, solid item. Plus, if he doesn't take my XP camp, then I'm actually not losing anything by greeting. 
I'm assuming he's at his blue buff. My blue buff just spawned and um he's not really been interested in mine. Which is weird because you know I just backed and he just got there, so I would expect him to go for mine. I guess he could be doing bull demon. Oh no, there he is. Okay. My three is maxed out now, so I don't actually need to care about wanting the back line. I can one the front line to insta clear. And he didn't get anything from my my greed, so it actually ended up paying off. We're 700 gold ahead with no kills on the table. That is how you know that my strategy is working. Like, I'm that far ahead, and there's literally nothing that would explicitly put me to that advantage other than me farming better you know hello i'm just trying to breed this wave so i can go do bull demon so my assumption is he probably isn't going to come over here he barely goes in the jungle for buffs i doubt he cares about bull demon Plus, he could honestly just take this time to get the red buff and try to win a fight instead of contest Bull Demon. Which is what a lot of people do, and it, it is a good strategy, honestly. Because my Bull Demon doesn't do shit if I can't win the fight. I'm just kind of banking on the fact that I easily can. Hello? Um, you didn't do red buff. You're kind of very aggressive towards me and not the wave which is a misplay he needs to care more about the wave because once the wave gets in tower i mean the tower is just done for his beads are down so he is dead that is a tower and a first blood and a red buff i don't know i think you know, the biggest issue this guy's having, and I don't even know even know if it's like an issue against someone that's not, you know, an experienced Kronos player, but he's just kind of letting me do what I want. Like, he's not contesting anything. He's not invading. He's not going for XP camps. He's just kind of sitting there and clearing and waiting to lose. That's how it feels. I think he's, he's banking on the fact that he's AMC and he wins fights easily. Like, that's his whole thing. At least that's what it feels like. I could be dead wrong, but... That's what it feels like. I really don't see him ever winning a fight. I mean, I have red buff. I have ring of Hecate. speed buff up no all right well i'm just gonna back i got 3600 gold anyways so i'll back i'll grab my typhons i'll grab my bancroft's claw a couple of potions and i'm gonna grab a blink here too because i think catching him off guard will be pretty good here that typhons gave me a ton of power by the way just three of my four items are life steal <laughs> And I do plan on getting a poly if it gets that far, but I don't think it will. I don't think it will. I think, uh, I think with this blink, I catch him off guard. I grab a kill and I win off of that. I don't want to use my three because I want to save my three, obviously to stun him. Oh, we get his beads here. No beads. All right. I didn't get the kill, but I do have fire minions in there. I will break those. Hmm. Yeah, there's not really much of anything he can do here. I'm breaking all of his hives the second he places them, and then... How, like, how is he going to win a fight? How is he going to win a fight? He's already losing the fights, and then with no hive, you're not getting attack speed, you're not getting regen, you're not getting your three damage. 
Yeah. And that is going to be a kill, which is going to lead to a GG. All right. Honestly, a good first game. I think it was very clinical. Like very farm oriented i was a thousand gold ahead before first blood even happened i was making sure i knew his timers my timers his movement my movement like i knew everything there was to know about that game so i feel good about that and uh i'll see you guys in game number two yo what's up boys i'm back i didn't ban uler because i wanted to see if i could get an uler game and uh he, this guy banned Kabraken, thanatos lancelot fenrir and then also, a, a Hades and a Hebo, so two of them are good. But, like, I don't understand the bans. So, there, again, just like last game, one of two options is going to happen. I'm about to get my dick slammed in, or I'm about to do some dick slamming. <laughs> this guy's name is Milk. Oh, crap, dude. Milk? Maybe he's goaded. Maybe he is goaded. You know what? I don't even want to stack this game. I'm just gonna. Oh wow! I can only get one pot doing that. Never mind. Never mind. I'm gonna go full power Uler. I'm gonna have fun with it. Sometimes you just need to have fun with it, man. And I don't play Uler often at all. Always be. I used to play him so much, but. Now I feel like I play him maybe once a month, maybe maybe like once every two months. Because I really only pay, play him on Try Hard Thursdays, and it's not often, you know? It's not like an often event on Try Hard Thursday that I pick Uller. Because I always ban him, and I'm scared of mirror matches. <laughs> you steal my blue? No, you did not. I love that for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I use all my mana in 0.4 seconds. There we go. Solid double buff. Oh, I'm not going to get my two. I'm just going to chill. My guess is he did blue, not speed. Just like the last guy did. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I have no mana. I don't really love my position at the moment. Strike from above you are. I feel like I definitely should have gone mana pots instead of multi pots. Um, that's just an ex an inexperienced Uller player. AKA that's a that's a dude move. Yeah, that was a lot of damage though. Dude, Uller pumps zombies. I don't see him at wave. Oh, there he is. I really want that red buff. More importantly than the red buff, though, I really want this uh, transcendence online. I really want some mana. So I'm down a little bit in gold, but I'm up a little bit in XP. Because I've got two XP camps and he only has the one. He might be at that red buff. Never mind, he just got the red buff. Oh, I just missed the wave completely. Love that for me. Hello? Hmm. It looks like this guy's probably going to slam me into the ground soon. What if I just did your blue buff, though? I was fully expecting a boulder over the wall. I don't know why he didn't. Yep. I missed. Stop! Don't WK me. I'm fragile. 
Nice. He actually listened. I don't know why he's like letting me do whatever I want though. I'm like kind of weirded out by it. I got one. <laughs> wow, I did a lot of damage there. Holy shit. I forget how much damage Uller does, man. Nice. Just being very patient with my stackies. Strike from above. I really want to know what his next item is. Because he's getting blink, man. He could honestly just go hydras and like jump on me. But but don't though. Well he is going hydras. How did I know? How did I know? I might just go heart seeker next item. <laughs> No, actually, I'll probably just go Jotun's. A little more mana, a little more cooldown. I do really want that red buff, which is why I'm staying so so long. I don't think I can get it, though. He's kind of, like, prepped for it, you know what I mean? Ah. My brother. What was that? Okay. Well, I got the red buff. And I got his blink. And I got his ult. He did get my beads. You want my blue buff? Is that what you're waiting for? Strike from above. Oh, dude, I was so close. I was actually so close to stealing that. Holy crap. That would have been amazing. All right. So I traded my blue buff for red buff, but that's okay. I wanted red buff more anyways. I'm actually 300 gold up. Almost 400. Never mind, I'm 400 gold up. Hello. Hello, enemy man. Oh, you should not have jumped in. Damn. That was a little bit of Uller right there. Nice. Alright, so now I basically traded my blue buff for his speed buff. Which I'm okay with. And I do want to go beat stick because his healing is going to be pretty strong because he has so much power. His healing does scale on power, so... Got to be maybe a little bit careful until I get that beat stick online. Don't blink on me. Ouch. Jesus, man. This character is so OP. Is this how you plan to 
I barely even have to play. It's ridiculous. I'm like almost mad that I picked this character. Jeez. They will oh. for their crimes. I don't know what else to say other than I'm blinking on him now. Oops, wrong button. We'll do my speed, we'll do my blue. I cannot believe how much damage I'm doing right now. Come to me. Oh, hello. I'm incredibly surprised he hasn't surrendered yet. If I were him, it would have been over on the first death. I am now 2,000 gold ahead when I was like, I was like 300 gold ahead. Two minutes ago, and now I'm like 2,000 gold ahead. Okay. All right, all right. That's fine. What's up, bro? All right. Now we get Phoenix with another kill. I should have probably gone in three that wave, honestly. Get my boys in, in uh, Phoenix range a bit sooner. That's all right, though. I'll get Phoenix anyways. There it is. Grab this speed buff. And I guess let's just go grab Heartseeker now. My job has made. Great weapons is Jesus. I'm just like, look, look, look at this damage. My stun hit him for 225. My stun. You know the thing that holds him in place for like a second and a half? Yeah, it it also does 200 damage. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Okay, turns out my 3-1 combo does 1,000 damage now. That's cool. Hello. Goomba Stomp. Yeah, okay, that's a surrender. But hey, we got to the point where my 3-1 combo did 1,000 damage, so that's that's pretty absurd. Um, I'll see you guys in game number three, boy. What up, boys? Game number three, and I'm fighting somebody who actually had amazing bands. AMC, Bakasura, Kali, Freya, Oleron, Bologna. Like, very solid bands, so he's probably a great player. His name is Lime, and he's playing Najah. Ja. Bro, I've been fighting so many Najahs recently. I gotta pump a Najah ja video out for Friday. Like, I, I gotta do one. I've just been fighting so many. There's no way that, like, everybody collectively is wrong, right? Like, there's been so many of them. There's gotta be a play to make. Gotta be. I also, I'm gonna do my blue and then try to invade. He might be able to kill me because <laughs> sash does quite a bit of damage and his two gives him 15 percent crit chance and if it crits on the big auto it's going to do about a third of my health even that even at level three so i don't know we'll see i definitely could die but i am going to go for the invade here because i do have pressure because i'm hades so assuming he's going to double buff, starting at speed, going to, to blue, I could potentially steal. He is at blue. Nice. I did get it. All right. Successful invade. I'm going to hit him so the minions group up. I'm just going to dirty up a bunch of them and get going now he really can't clear that's his biggest issue and against a hades that issue is going to be super amplified so 
He's going to be... I mean, in a bit of a pickle is like a little light way to say he's like super, super hard stuck right now. Like, it's going to be very, very hard for him to do anything this game. Because he's not going to get any of this gold. I'm actually not getting... Um, the XP camps because keeping him under tower like this is going to keep him kind of sedated. Like he's just not going to be able to, to reach his potential, so to speak. And we're going to two, three combo this wave. I want a last hit just because it gives you more gold. And I'm going to go get XP camps again. I'll grab this XP camp back and get my, my, uh, Bancrofts and then hopefully meet him at red buff. I would love to be able to do speed on the way over there, but I don't know if I can. Uh, he's clearing wave right now. I think because he's at wave, I have time. Yeah, because he went to wave, I, I have a bunch of time. It takes him so long to clear, like I said, that really not scared. I'm going to ult this buff, by the way. He's got beads. There's no way that my ult's actually going to do much of anything to him. So I'm going to ult this and take it out. He backed. Sounds good. Probably to get his transcendent stacks going. I'll grab the red buff. Why not? Why not? And obviously breastplate next item. My nose is so itchy. Uh, my blue spawned. His his blue is spawning. I'm assuming he's like sitting at his blue. He doesn't want it to get invaded again. He's not. Hello? Can I have your blue buff again? Perfect. Now, this one could hurt a bit because he does have ult. But I have tier 1 defense and not that scared. Well, those crit chance, though. Oh, big. Big damage. Holy. The reason I shelled is because if he ulted me after getting those couple of crits he did, he probably could have killed me. Oh, you are dead. He got a bit greedy going for those minions. Good stuff. I guess this he just F sixes this. I don't I don't think like I don't see him playing this out. Naja into Hades doesn't feel very good. Annoying. Oh, he ulted out instead of beads did. That's a weird beads. Unless maybe he beads earlier. And I just didn't see it. Which definitely could be the case. Alright, I have no mana at all. But I do have lifesteal. And I'm down to trade this. With autos. He's probably going to get red. I mean, he knows I'm backing. He knows red spawns soon. At least he should know red buff spawns soon. If he's keeping track of time. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm a thousand gold up right now. All right. The real question is, did he do red or did he back? Back. Not the right play, my dude. Red buff was calling your name. Ouch. Got bonked by a by a ring bounce. Blue is spawning. I'll wait on the uh, on the minion wave there. I'm assuming he's waiting at his blue this time for sure. Or he's invading mine. All right. I didn't see that coming. Fair play. I'm going to go pick it up. It's 
Come on over his blue now. <laughs> All right. Bit of an interesting game. Got some defense. Um, I think I'm just going to go tier two Typhons here. And they would be dumb not to go bees. I know. I really want to go like, um, Sunder or Blink, but Beads is just the safer play. Just to know that you're not going to get ulted for a few seconds. This clear is definitely getting better. I mean, there's no way you think you fight me. Get your beads or your alt. Chose to be alt this time. I don't know why so many people do that. Well, I guess technically your alt is a lower cooldown than your beads, but it does kill your kill potential, so to speak. Like, like you're never killing me without your alt. I'm actually down to just dive this. I don't think he. Okay, well, actually, you heal like a shit ton. Never mind. I think that's the first time he's three to all game. Are you going for my blue again? Nope. 1.5k up now. The lead is slowly growing. It's as expected though, like... Also, did you just back and then not heal? <laughs> like, like, where's your health at? want him to go in so that I can do that. Let's go. Oh, yo, he lived. I wanted him to to sash me if I was taking tower so long because it, I guaranteed that I could at least get the objective. Because I beads his sash and then I alt. I'm CC immune for like I don't know a million minutes and then uh, he only has the choice to either beads and run away or alt away. And in both cases, he can't clear the wave to defend the tower. So Be best case scenario, I get a kill in the tower. Worst case scenario, I get the tower. So that was a, that was a good play. Hello. Hello. He definitely plays it a bit weird. I don't I don't really understand his game plan here. He's just kind of tanking through my shit trying to clear wave. Like tanking through everything trying to get the late game, I guess. But I'm pretty sure if we get if we both get to level 20, I'm the one that wins that fight, not you. But then again, I mean, if he gets crit and he gets 100% anti-heal and, you know, gets a bit lucky with his two in one fight, it could go either way.
but this lead I have is growing rapidly. Like I was, I was a thousand gold ahead or 1500 gold ahead a minute ago. And now I'm 2,500 gold ahead, you know, like it's, it's going pretty quick. Hello. You're probably going to do my blue. That's okay. Hello. I'll get his alt again here. Or not. I'll just tank through it. That's fine though. trying to think like what's the fastest way to win this game probably poly so i can just start poking phoenix yeah it's probably poly again we're holding strong in the 2500 gold lead i do want a little bit more pen i only have 10 percent I mean, he only has one defensive item, so it's not like I need that much more pen. But a little bit more pen would be nice. Hello. Hold down. Come back, minions. That's annoying. I'm gonna pop pots here so I can be a little greedy. Oh my gosh. There's just beads and everything there. Nice. He sashed me. I beat the sash and I get the kill. We're now 3k gold up and we're going to have a phoenix. Alright. I'm going to clear everything on my way back to base. Uh, itemization wise, yeah. with about 2,700 gold, I guess I could go Staff of Murden, an extra 10% cooldown, an extra 10% pen. Seems good. Although it would only proc after my alt, but let's be honest, I'm ulting pretty early in these fights regardless, so it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. What if he's doing bull demons? I have no idea where he is. That minion just lived with one HP. That's so annoying. <laughs> now let's go back. Let's get staff. Uh, I guess I'll just upgrade my shell to get a little bit lower cooldown. Grab the speed buff and then make our way to the wave. Dude, I've been playing so clinical this is today. Like, normally try our Thursdays are good because I play like very aggressive. This is kind of a different one. I mean, I have been playing aggressive. Don't get me wrong. Like, I've invaded every buff on every player that I fought today, but um, it's much more clinical, like farm focused. Hello, you alt me? You don't alt me. I don't know about all this. Damn, I literally won the game 
without ever being ulted by Naja in a 16 minute game because he ulted out of my ult every single chance he had I don't know man well played hope you guys enjoyed that uh that game and I will see you guys in the next one what's up boys game number four five four I don't know it's a game and uh, I'm fighting Lime again on Naja again dude He's loving Naja. But I'm not Hades this time, so I'm a little bit more spooked. So I'm a I'm a Poseidon, which is not bad, right? Like I Poseidon's very strong, but he is a squishy mage and Naja loves squishy mages. So I'm a little bit nervous. I also assume he's going to invade my blue because I invaded his last game so many times. So I think it's safe to say, one, I will not get a blue buff this game. And two, I'm going to be ulted way more than none like last game. But also, if I beads his ult, he takes a full crack into the face, which... I mean, that's got to hurt, right? So... I'm just hoping that things work out for me here. <laughs> Okay, please, whatever you do. He's coming. He's coming, dude. You see his little jump stamp coming? <laughs> I fucking knew it. I knew, he, I knew he wanted my blue buff, dude. I knew he was going to start with blue and invade because I did it to him last game. Dude, people are so predictable, man. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, I still have very good clear, and he doesn't. And he didn't start double buffing, so... He's still behind by trying to invade. Although I will say, my mana situation is not the best. I'm gonna slowly auto these down. I think he's going to his buff now. After this wave, I should be able to go get my Bancrofts. Yeah, I can. Perfect. All right. So we definitely got the lead there. Not a massive lead, but a, a decent enough one. We got two buffs and two XP camps, and he got two buffs and one XP camp. So we're a little bit ahead. A little bit. I'm actually ahead in X or in uh in XP and gold by like a lot more than I thought I should be. Which makes me think maybe he didn't even do his speed buff yet. There's no way, right? Oh, he ulted, okay. I don't know why he ulted instead of Aegis. He definitely should have Aegis that. Honestly, if he, uh, if he ults my ults, like he did with the Hades game, I'm a lot happier in this scenario than I am in that scenario. Cause unlike as Hades, right? Like I wasn't going to die to his ult. I'm so tanky as Hades that even if he does toss me in the air and beat the shit out of me, I land and I kill him. It, like that's it. But as Poseidon, if he ults me, I do die. So him using alt instead of Aegis actually keeps me alive more. Which is, it's so weird to think like me alting him and then his response to my alt keeps me alive more. But, you know, that's, that's smite for you. I'm pretty far ahead right now, by the way. Just because I've been on point with the, uh, the buff control and the uh, XP camps and stuff. 500 gold ahead. I don't hear him doing blue. Oh, you were waiting. Hello. I want him to three me. Perfect. I got the XP camp. I got the kill. He's losing a full minion wave to tower. This is a fiver. I can confidently say this is a fiver. Alright, 
clear the wave. Not very quickly, but, you know, we get it done. Ouch. He is going defense. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to... Maybe he doesn't want to surrender. He's going speed buff now. I'm going to greed this wave. There's nothing up on the map for him to take, even if I do um, greed this wave. So I'm chilling. I'm not stacking or anything, so I don't care about last hitting that. Grab this. Grab a couple mana pots because mana always seems to be my issue. And let's head over to red. Make sure we can try to get that red buff too. The only thing I'm really nervous about in this matchup is he can three me while I'm ulting him. Even if even if he's in my whirlpool, he can three me, which would make him completely immune my ult. So that would suck. And then on top of that, he can ult me and completely immune my ult. So basically, if he immunes my ult, I'm big sad. I missed. Oh, but he went for it. I'm actually okay if he ults me. He's not doing too much damage right now. I, I don't think I need the beads because... Yep, yeah, he seems relatively weak at the moment. And his blue buff is up, so... I want to get this. If you're wondering how I know when his blue is up, it's because his blue and my speed spawn at the same time. Because that's where we both started. So... Just to keep a mental note of it. What is my next item going to be? I kind of want to go Warlocks. Like a little bit of survivability. It sounds kind of stupid, but... I don't know. Hey, I just got a sub. I just got a sub on Twitch and I'm not even streaming. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Um, bonk you in the tower. Never mind. All right. Honestly, that was really well played by him. He got my beads alt for just uh, for just an alt. Well played. Now, you definitely don't win the fight. I mean, you have no lifesteal and I have Bancroft, so. Unfortunately, you don't get anything off of your, your well played fight, but still, it was well played. Kind of want to go Warlocks, dude. I don't know. I know it sounds stupid, but. It gives you 10% pen, too. I think if I got if uh, blah, 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 blah. okay, <clears throat> I don't know what just happened. I think if I get Warlock Sash and Typhons, I'm gonna have 20% pen and so much survivability that I actually won't even care if he ults me. <laughs> so I think I'm chilling. Hello, that's not yours. So whatever you thought you were gonna do, just just stop. All right. I mean, he's he's getting a little bit more confident. He's going for things. He's ulting. He's he's fighting. He's sashing me. Last game, he didn't do any of that. So. Definitely can't be mad. Hello? Yeah, see, that's what I was worried about. I was beating my ass. gonna follow me okay you don't win the fight like okay actually I guess he does kind of win that fight why waste a sash or a ring bounce Oh, he... No, duh, dumbass. Of course he wins the fight when you have 2,300 gold in hand. 
I didn't I didn't realize I had that much gold in hand. I'm so dumb. All right, well, I just finished Warlock Staff and got Bancroft's Claw passive as my glyph and got tier one Typhon. So huge back for me. That's a very, very big back for me. I could do Bull Demon. It's not like he can steal it. I have Kraken. My only issue with Bull Demon is not that him... Not that he's going to steal it, but that I'm, he's just going to kill my ass. <laughs> you know, like... Um, Crusher. All right. Dude, I don't even have Typhons yet. And I'm winning fights like that. Oh, he expected me to go in. I guess because when I was Hades, I was going in on him a lot in the, uh, like, under tower. Your two is going to heal you quite a bit here. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, the alt out. He never alts aggressively, man. It's been 25 minutes of fighting a Naja at this point, and I have not been altered a single time. Mm, I really want this blue. Hello. All right, page is down. Page is down. Minions, I don't think will take tower, but they will do a lot of damage. I get to back. I don't get to finish my Typhons just yet, but refresh my mana a little bit. Oh. I'm 1800 gold ahead with one kill. This Try Hard Thursday is like a combination of me like farming like like an absolute maniac and me also showing hello also showing that like I still kind of got it huh hello I think I should be able to re reactionarily beads his alt. Assuming I'm not like in motion of another ability. Oh, well. Oh, man. That was a mess up. That was a mess up. You literally should never, ever, ever, ever. If you're a Naja player and you ult a Poseidon, when you land, you do not three. Like, you wait, dude. You hold that ability for the Kraken. He has no Aegis. You know, like... If, if he doesn't, uh, if he threes immediately, like he just dies. Also, for some reason, uh, Poseidon 2 is broken and now does make you do more damage to objectives, like to towers and shit. So, fun little fact there. If you, uh, if you are playing Poseidon, you can abuse it. I wonder if he got red buff. He did. He did. I have so much gold in hand. I don't know what I'm doing. I have 3,000 gold. <laughs> All right, we'll grab this and we'll go into divine. Stop his healing from his two just a little bit. We do now have 20% pen. And 450 power at full health with Bancrofts, which means it can go up to almost 600 power. 
We're feeling pretty damn good. I really want him want to crack at him. Okay. He did not age us. He didn't age us in time, so he just instantly died. All right. That's GG's. I am going to end the video there. It's an hour and 20 minute recording, which I assume with the queue, queue times cut out is going to be an hour recording. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Try Hard Thursday. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.